Hi, my name is Marin with Yoga Evo, and today I have a flexibility routine for you. So get your Yoga Evo straps out, get on your mat, and let's get started. The first movement we have is just a nice forward bend. I love forward bends because it is a whole body routine. So we're gonna step on our strap evenly in the center. Just nice and even. Make sure you got that Yoga Evo label looking right at you. From here, we're gonna stand up nice and straight. Our feet are gonna be shoulder width apart to start off with. And we're going to gently pull ourselves down. If you bring the straps closer to you in the center, you can focus on grabbing some of the handles. And I really love these handles. It's what makes this strap so unique. You wanna make sure your back is nice and straight. If you're here and you feel it, great. Breathe here for five to six deep breaths. If you want to, pull forward. Just make sure that back is nice and straight, legs are nice and straight, feet, your weight is evenly distributed in between your feet. You're getting some nice deep breaths here. Pulling yourself closer to the ground. I like to focus on my belly button to the tops of my thighs. And instead of forehead to the knees, that kind of breeds sort of a poor posture or a bad arch. Think of belly button down to the tops of thighs. The most important thing with flexibility is that you bring yourself to the brink of discomfort. You should never feel any sharp pain or joint pain. But if you feel your muscles start to tense up and it got sort of a burning hot pain, that's where you wanna be. And if you can hold it, breathe in, and then exhale and find relaxation and peace with the posture, you're gonna really increase flexibility. From here, I wanna take the straps out. Exhale, coming up. Bring those straps up to your arms. Let's go ahead and put our arms in the loops. You want it to be about shoulder width apart or slightly less. And from here, I wanna raise our arms up nice and high and just gently lean over to one side. So from here, you wanna make sure your feet are shoulder width apart. You wanna make sure your head slightly tilted up towards the sky. And you're just gonna reach with two straight arms over. If you find yourself right here, that's fine. As long as you're feeling a little bit of muscle contraction on the side that you're leaning towards and muscle stretching on the opposite side, you're in the right place. Don't hold your breath. You wanna make sure you can breathe in deeply here. Nice deep breaths. You guys are doing excellent. Building nice core strength while stretching out the sides. <sighs> Exhale as you come forward and go move to the other side as well. You can always start off with a few breaths, but make sure you try to repeat yourself until you can do about five or six deep breaths in each pose. Then you can return to center. Let's go ahead and keep our arms right here. And we're gonna reach down to the ground. Nice shoulder width arm, shoulder width legs. Go ahead and reach to the ground there. Breathe in deeply. From here, I want you to take the strap, bring it to your back, put your hand in that same loop again. We're gonna spread our legs nice and wide. Feel free to point your toes out to the corners if you need to. From here, we're gonna bend at the waist. Same with the forward bend, but this time we're gonna rotate our arms up and over our head. Nice full body stretch here. We're stretching out the shoulder blades, warming up the rotator cuffs, inner hamstrings, inner thighs, glute stretch. These are doing really good. Exhale, come up. Try to hold that for five to six deep breaths. Bring the strap to the front again. And we're gonna go ahead and get in plank position here. Feet are slightly wider than shoulder width apart, but this strap is gonna help keep our arms nice and together. You wanna make sure that your elbows are rotated out and forward when you're in this position. So your elbows are not buckling this way. Rotate them out and forward, put a nice bend there and push back into downward dog. If you feel like you have trouble keeping your hips in place, you can feel free to put this strap around your ankles or around your calves in order to keep your legs in place. For me, I find that most people have trouble keeping their arms rotated properly and aligned. So this is why I suggest using the arms, but you can use this strap anywhere that you feel is necessary for alignment. From here, let's just gently rock forward, drop our hips down, 
into upward dog. Gently rest those thighs. So now we're bending our spine forward and backward. Nice flexibility range here in the core. We went side to side, now we're going forward and backwards and getting our hamstrings as well. So we're gonna get up into plank position, back into downward dog. Breathe in nice and deep. And from here, let's just gently walk up. Keep our palms pressed down onto the ground. Our knees are slightly bent. This time our feet are together. And then I want you to focus on standing up. Pressing your palms down into the ground and extending those knees. Just focus on standing up. You might not get all the way straight, that's okay. You can feel that stretch though. From here, inhale, bring those arms up, palms to the sky, drop that head back, and push those hips forward. Exhale, coming up. And as always, try to repeat each pose with five to six deep breaths each. And do this routine at least three times around to really maximize the benefit of the entire routine. My name's Marin. Thank you so much for joining me here on Yoga Evo, and I hope you enjoyed this flexibility routine.